coach uh, Ross Martin in South Carolina. You're pretty explosive. Um, what's it been like the first two games? Two touchdowns and like, pretty impressive explosive plays. What's it been like? What's the first two games been like for you? Uh, I feel like it's just taking advantage of every opportunity I get. Uh, it's been been pretty cool, just you know, getting in there and, and making some plays. But understanding, I have way more left to give. What's it What's it like scoring those touchdowns when you see up on the field open grass at you? Oh, uh, when I see open grass, it's kind of like I got to get to the end zone. Obviously, I don't know when my next opportunity is gonna come. You know, open field. It's college football, so it's pretty hard. But um, my eyes light up, and when when I get in open space, I, I just kind of try to make a move to get to that end zone. Uh, Andrew Jones, you came in early. How how are things now from a football perspective, with the speed of the game and everything, as opposed to the way it was in the spring when you were just getting acclimated? Right. When uh, when I first got here in the spring, you know, uh, that transition from high school to college was uh, was different. I feel like it really benefited me coming early, and now I feel like uh, now in the fall, I definitely the game definitely slowed down for me. Um, understanding, you know, a lot more things, a lot more tendencies, uh, learning more about myself, the team, the offensive line, pretty much everything that goes around with the offense. And I just feel like it's benefiting me right now in the right way. Yeah, just trusting, just trusting my ability, uh, listening to my coaches during practice, um, them giving me the opportunity, you know, do what I can do in open space. But uh, really, just reading my keys, understanding uh, when I get to that second level, it's always going to be a defender, and you know, just being ready to make that guy miss or running around and whatever I can do to. Get more yards. George C. L. Brown with the Burlington Observer. Um, how much do you and Omarion as the two kind of young guns in the running back room? How much do you guys kind of uh, egg each other on and, and you know motivate each other to do better? Oh, uh, we motivate each other a lot. Um, I feel like us coming in, uh, two young backs. Uh, you know, we we our competition is really high for each other, and. Um, you know, we always got each other back and stuff like that. But we always pushing each other. I feel like we, we both very focused, you know, what we got going on, understanding that we young and we, we got uh, stuff to work on. But we really close, for sure. And did, did uh, Coach Lago initially, did you just kind of have a package of plays that, that you know, you're set that you figured one of those is going to be the plays when you go in? Or at this point, is it the whole offense? Are you, you, you know, not limited? Um, I feel like, you know, first game, Florida a &M, he, he wanted to give me a space early. Uh, the ball wasn't finding me, you know, uh, screens here and there. And then, you know, kind of in that second half, he kind of just let me, you know, roll with whatever plays he had called, and I just had to deal with him. George, uh, Adam Smith is uh, inside Carolina. What, what is that like when you talk about, like, working your way in here with sort of a crowded running back position, you know, like, I think you had six carries at Athletic. What is your approach to the opportunities that you get? And is there patience involved that you, you have to, like, do you have to be patient? It's like, what is that like when you're waiting for your turn and you finally get your turn? Yeah, obviously, you know, it's not high school anymore, so you're not getting every carry, you're not getting the ball at the time. But uh, really just trusting myself, all the hard work I put in, and uh, just trusting my ability and staying, staying patient, uh, staying focused throughout the game, TV timeouts. I'm obviously not used to that. So just anxious on the sideline, but staying ready so when my number called, you know, I can kind of do what I do and, and kind of make things happen. Can you, can you take us through that touchdown at Africa? Because, you know, you dropped the one guy. You had, it was like a one-on-one. -on -one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the previous play before I had a 12-yard game, uh, they kind of uh, spiked, spiked the linebacker outside. And coach, after after the injury timeout, he called the same play. And basically, I knew my wide receiver out here had an end breaking route, and it was man to man. And the um, the end actually spiked inside because we gashed him in the middle the first time. So I just let my blocks develop, and I got outside of it. I seen the linebacker coming because obviously going to be a second defender, made him miss, and then the corner back side was all the way over there. So I just outran him. So, so you like the chances one on one? Yeah, I love my chances one on one. Yes, sir. <laughs> Coach Longo uh, called the four running backs. I love the rotation. I love the rotation. Um, you know, every every one of us got each other back, and uh, you know, we all have different skill sets uh, about us. You know, Marion, big power. I'm kind of speed guy. Can make guys open and spit uh, in space. Uh, DJ, he has a whole lot of experience, and then Caleb, he's he's kind of a bigger guy that can get down here and run too. So, really. Um, 
I feel like what he's looking for in a game is who, who's going to be called. And I, obviously, I guess who has a hot hand. But um, none of us envy each other. And we, we all got each other back. And whenever one's called, we're ready to go. Have you had a wild moment this season that throw or multiple throws that Drake has made? Um, I actually saw that in the fall. He made a couple throws that, you know, watching it, I wasn't in at the time. And I'm looking at it, and I'm like, Oh, yeah, he, he can go. But, you know, him just proving that in the game and just showing, you know, it just goes to all the hard work he put in. And, you know, everybody excited about him. But we, we've been seeing it. And um, I'm not surprised. I don't think a lot of guys inside the locker room are surprised. Um, but he can go for sure. Can you share with one of those last uh, It was one, actually, we had a night practice. And uh, he made a defender miss. And he got outside the pocket. But he was moving to his left. And he kind of just, you know, just cross body just kind of like no looked it all the way 30 yards down the field and it was right on the money um and then you see the one versus dj jones or with dj jones on the, on the seam route you know seven people coming to his face and he just poised under pressure just dumps it off like it's nothing gets up and he, he's fine um, just throws like that you know just kind of just excites everybody You said, you said how many? In the red, I think it's eight for eight. Oh, yeah. Um, I feel like we we have a lot of things that we can throw at defenses. And I feel like Longo, when he breaks down that film and what they kind of do in the red zone, um, I feel like he's just going to get us in the right spots, whether that's running downhill, uh, snakes, uh, play action, whatever that might be. But we got a lot of play calls down there. And we we got to get the job done. I was just going to say, what skill set do you Uh, I feel like I feel like everybody sees the speed, but really uh, just the patience and the vision that I have, especially you know those little creases and little holes that um, you know I understand I'm a small back, but just understand I can still get through those holes when I can use my eyes to my to my advantage. Uh, I feel like that really benefits me, and then obviously you guys see what what happens in open face in open space, but that's still using my eyes and going with my feet. Uh, I feel like the biggest jump, you know, it's an everyday grind. You know, you got you got to be consistent to get down, get down there, get on the field. Um, but everything that comes with that, the film, the classes, you know, the tutoring, just just that all day long process. And then you got to wake up and do it over again. And you got to be consistent and stay on top of everything. So just realizing I just take it day by day, really. Like even when I'm out there on practice, I take it period by period. Like I'm locked in on this period. Nothing else really matters. And then I just keep going from there. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, no, nah, I definitely wasn't doing it in high school. It was kind of, you know, give me the ball. But um, definitely really focusing on that. That's, that's definitely one of my weaknesses that I have to get better, better at so I can, you know, be in every down back. But, um, you know, Coach Porter has worked with me. Natron Means has worked with me uh, countless times all throughout practice, just teaching me, trying to get me better at that. So, you know, I can be put in that position and, and protect my quarterback, which is the main thing. George, you the fastest game on the Uh, I mean, a couple guys said it faster than me. I, I wanted to race in the summer, you know, but the strength coaches said we weren't allowed to race. You know, they didn't want anything to happen. But I, I feel like I, I feel like racing, but I feel like when I had a ball in my hands, I feel like I'm the fastest in the team. Who are the guys that said faster than me? EG says he's faster than me. He, EG, Elijah Green, he says he's faster than me. Doc Chapman says he's faster than me. Uh, Josh don't really say nothing, but I know he's pretty fast. He's definitely pretty fast. Um, so we don't really talk about it, but those are the main two. Could do an NIO for a race or something. I don't know, Jerry. <laughs> uh, that ain't my word. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys go with George? Thanks, George. Thanks, appreciate Thanks, it. George. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.